like to call this uh, August 6th special meeting of Green Greenville County Council to order. And I'll ask Vice Chair Liz Seaman to give the invocation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let us pray. Gracious and Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to gather. We are thankful for the citizens that are here and also those watching online who are concerned about the work of council. I'm grateful for my colleagues for the work that they put in and their care and concern for our county as well. Tonight also, Lord, we pray for the people on the coast being affected by Hurricane Debbie, and we pray that, uh, that everyone remains safe and thankful for those who are headed into harm's way to help. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, we have one item of business on the agenda today, and that is third reading on the Capital Project Sales Tax Referendum Ordinance, and I'll call on Councilor Liz Seaman. I move for approval at third reading an ordinance enacted pursuant to the Capital Project Sales Tax Act, Title IV, Chapter 10, Article Three of the Code of Laws of South Carolina, 1976, as amended, providing for the imposition of a 1% sales and use tax upon referendum approval, the form of the ballot to be used in connection therewith, the authorization of issuance of general obligation bonds of Greenville County subject to such referendum to defray costs of projects and issuance costs and other matters relating thereto. All right, you've heard the motion. Are there any questions or comments on the motion? Here we go. Yes, I would have some questions, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, the first would be for County Attorney Tolleson. Um, the ballot measure that we, that the text of that ballot that we have included with this who in the county attorney's office is responsible for that and who's signing off on that ballot question? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Shaw, uh, I, that would be me, Ms. Wonder, uh, those, uh, Attorney Andrew Price, we all worked on it. Uh, we also uh, sought help from outside counsel with Hainsworth Sinclair Boyd Law Firm, with Brad Love and Jeremy Cook, and applying some of their experience with other jurisdictions doing these types of projects. Okay. And then, and then the commission, then your capital sales tax commission, then took that, formed a ballot, and that's what's been transmitted to county council and is now part of the ordinance. Okay. So you are ultimately responsible for the language of the ballot. No, we are, Mr. Mr. Shaw. We are. No, no, no. Are you? Are you we are responsible, I, Mr. Chairman? I'm, I'm actually talking to our attorney, okay, well, who I have an attorney-client relationship with. Well, I do too, but okay, I'm just telling but, uh, you, as Chairman, <laughs> we on council are responsible for the final product. So, if there's issues, raise them. We we haven't voted on them yet. So, I'm asking our county attorney who prepared the ballot. Um, if we, that we ballot we, is we, determined to be insufficient legally. Are you responsible for that? Uh, sure. The, we put a good team together. I don't think that's going to be the case. But if okay. there's a challenge, we'll certainly answer that. But um, based on the experience and the team put together, this appears to be something that's in line with what's been done in other jurisdictions. And so we are uh, comfortable that we've given good product to the Sales Tax Commission and what's part of the ordinance today. Okay. Fair enough. Question number two is a FOIA question. Um, if a member of council during a cow meeting texts somebody, is that a Freedom of Information Act, uh, something that needs to be disclosed in the Freedom of Information Act? I, uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Shaw, that's a hypothetical question. I'd be happy to research that and give you an answer, but I'm not going to snap off an answer this evening or something like okay. that. Are you aware that your office has received a FOIA request for text messages that a member of council texted during a council meeting regarding this tax to, uh, actually it was indicated as a legislature member? 
I, I don't know. We get so many Freedom of Information Act requests. I, again, uh, it, I'll, I'll give this piece. If, if you've got questions like this, uh, it, it always works great if you could give me some notice before we get to the meeting, and then well. I could be more in assistance. But when I don't have it, I don't have the current list of FOIA requests, I can't adequately answer that. And, and I'm also going to step in here, Mr. Shaw. This is Your questions are not relevant or germane to the passage of this bill. So if you've got questions that are germane, have at them. But we're not going to play gotcha on non-germane issues. Okay. And the chair makes a determination whether it's I do. germane. Yeah, that's right. correct. So that, that's your determination that it's not germane. Correct. Correct. Yours alone. Thank you. You, you're welcome to, to vote on that. Ruling. You're welcome to appeal the ruling of the chair, and then the body can determine. Any other questions? Um, Mr. Juvalakis? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. A couple of things. One, um, just for the record, we, we didn't have any meeting minutes approving the second reading um, of this proposal, right? Just want to clarify that. I. We didn't approve any minutes right. tonight. Okay, just 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 confirming that we didn't do that. Um, other thing I want to just clarify, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, at our last meeting, um, I asked if uh, on the sample ballot, if all the uh, roads were on the list, and um, you had nicely said that was a red heron and I just wanted you to know that um, that if, if a red herring which I've never been called before means it's a distraction uh, I have right here the sample ballot and a list of all the rows that's that what I was saying I'm, was I'm happy accurate. to I'm happy to address that I misspoke that night when we passed the ordinance everything was in there the ballot itself will have a sampling of those, and we are working as best we can to have something in the ballot in each polling location that would have the entire list. But I think what, <laughs> what you're trying to suggest in, in, from last meeting was that somehow we were lacking transparency in the process, and that is false because the, the amendment, the ordinance that we passed, three, this is the third reading, all of that information is in there. Yeah, but and I, I was just making, first of all, let me ask you this. Um, would you like to apologize to me now publicly since? No, you, I, I don't because you, the red herring, the red herring that, comment was about, was back to your transparency comment. Okay, well, but just, just for the record, the um, ballots, we, we did say in Cal that on the ballot, all the roads would be listed. We said that and they're not listed. That's okay. just the point, okay? That, well, they're, they're listed in the ordinance. I, I get it. I get that. But that's not so, what we said we were going to do in Cal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? All right. All those in favor? Oh, roll call, please. Okay. Ro roll call on third reading has been requested. you have eight in favor four in opposition all right the capital project sales tax referendum ordinance passes on third reading there being no further business um, I'll uh, entertain a motion for adjournment all those in favor say aye, aye. those opposed in the ayes have it thank you for coming tonight <laughs>